<clears throat> All right. So, hi guys, this is Andy from Mobile Must Have, and today I'm excited to talk about a new product launch that me as a full time I'm really excited we're finally carrying. And today we're going to talk about the Vi Air air inflation systems. Uh, now, there's a bunch you can do with these, and as a full timer, as I mentioned, this is something I have had on board with us basically since we left three years ago. So I think it's a really important product just in general to have. And I'm really excited that now we carry it and I want to show you everything it does and why this is such a good thing to have on board. Now we've been selling tire pressure monitor systems for years and that is also something that's really important to have. A tire pressure monitor, especially the ones from TST, which is the ones that we like the most, will tell you if you're having a real-time issue with your tire. So if you're driving and you lose pressure or one is um, overheating, there's a lot of things they can tell you. It's really great. But at times you're not always able to fix that immediately. And this is where some of the Vire solutions can come in to make sure that if you're running low on pressure and possibly going to have maybe a tire issue, you can fix it with a Vire pump. Now, Viair has a ton of different ones, and this is my personal one that, like I said, I have had on board for at least three years now. So I'll take you through the lineup of all the new ones um, in just a minute. But what we really like about these is if we're ever having an issue or if we're pulling out of a campsite that we've been to for a long time, um, we can fill up our own tire pressure. And this is for Class A's, Class B's, Class C's, trailers, fifth wheels even. You get everything you need to really make sure you are self-sufficient and not going to be stranded just because of a simple tire issue. The system comes with basically everything you need right inside. You hook it up to either a truck battery, a car battery, the RV battery. You can fire it up and get your tires to pressure when and where you need to. Another really great thing, even if you're not a full timer um, and you're maybe more of a seasonal or weekender, um, is you can actually use the Vire system to blow out your water lines. If you're storing this over the winter and you don't want anything to freeze, you can use this system as that air compressor to blow everything out uh, so you don't have to worry about water lines freezing or using any chemicals. So not only are you potentially getting a tire inflation that is one of the unique ones that can actually go up to 80 and 120 PSI in an RV tire, but you're also getting a tool that can save you money long term with just doing winterization all by yourself. Now I would like to take you through kind of a high level of each particular unit what is great about it, kind of what makes it stand out and why it's different than the other ones. Um, and then talk about accessories and, and also really which one I ended up selecting a couple of years ago and how that's turned out for us over the three year time frame we've been full time. I will start quickly with the 89. It is a great unit for smaller, more like vans and class B's. That's what this one kind of the range is for. It goes up to 120 PSI. It only uses 20 amps. It goes right onto the battery. It's very lightweight overall, um, and it's a great option. It's got a 20 foot kind of extension cord, so it can go anywhere within that van. One, one quick thing though is it doesn't work well with dual tires. So if you've got a class B with those dual tires in the back, uh, just kind of check you might be better going off with a slightly higher model uh, just to make those connections easier for those tires. Still though, solid option, really great for the garage if you're just kind of wanting to have a tire pump for your cars and just around for bicycles, all that kind of stuff. This comes with all those kind of standard accessories for air inflation, great option. Uh, the next one down is going to be your 300. Uh, Vire has that kind of tagged for towables. Uh, the design changes a little bit where now you have your PSI reader on uh, kind of the hand tool. Um, you've got one extension cable so you can reach from either your tow vehicle in the front all the way to your back tires uh, or if you're using like a house battery you can get to all of your tires that way too. A, a really great option. It does go up to kind of like the whole metal inside the, the actual compressors and stuff so it's a little upgraded in that design um, and it's still a really good option. Now the 400 and the 450 are pretty similar. Um, the 400s are going to be designed for the Class C, um, probably even small Class A's will work well with this, and then the 450 is designed for those bigger Class A's. Now really the main difference is going to be how long the runtime can work on this, 
and how fast it fills your tire. It's a very similar compressor. Almost all the accessories are identical in the 400 and 450. The main kind of thing is, is do you want to have a faster tire fill? And you know, do you want this to have just a, a little longer run time if needed? Um, this one's great. This one runs easily for 20 minutes without overheating. So for most people, this is going to be a fine option if you're in that Class C with those smaller tires. Um, if you've got the big tires or just want a little bit of extra oomph, the 450 can't go wrong with that one either. You could even have a 450 if you've got a towable or a B. You're just looking at a bigger size, kind of a bigger compressor. Um, it will work all the way down. Um, you can't necessarily go up, so you couldn't necessarily do a Class A with the 89. This just doesn't have enough oomph, I'll call it, enough power to really get those big tires up all the way up to probably normally 120 PSI. Um, but it's great for going to be like more residential tires and those lower PSIs like in the 50s and 40s range. Uh, you can, the towables goes up to 120. Um, you remember, you're maxing out that compressor. So if that's close to where your tire pressure is, um, that's okay. My fifth wheel runs at 80, as does our, our 3500 truck. Um, so this would definitely work for the fifth wheel situation. Now, the one I went with uh, three years ago was actually the 450. At the time, we had a Class C, and I just wanted a little bit longer of a run time. We had a tow dolly. So we had just so many tires we were managing. And it just always seemed like one tire needed some amount of air, and I just didn't ever really want to worry about it. So we went with the 450, and it has held up remarkably well. I have done zero maintenance to it. We use it probably three times a month. Some tire here or there needs air. Some sucker ball needs air, a bike tire. Who knows? I have used it on everything. Now, the last thing which I'm really excited about is going to be this winterization kit. This works with the 450 uh, the 400, and I believe it works with the 300. We'll check the listing for that. Uh, but this means you can blow out your entire RV airlines in the winter uh, using your pump. So if you already have this tire inflation device, you can use that to build up air pressure and then blow out all the water in your RV so you don't have to use any chemicals or take it to some place that has a compressor. This can now do that for you. So this is a great little add-on that you can just you can keep on board, and when you need it, you've got it. So there's going to be your quick lineup. Uh, we're going to do, like I said, box opening videos for each of these, talking about how they work and showing you um, kind of a quick demo of each one. Uh, if you guys have any questions, as always, leave them in the comments below. Uh, it's better to shoot us an email at info at mobilemusthave.com uh, or chat with us on our website directly. There's always a human there to talk to you. Uh, all right. Thanks, guys. We will see you on the road. Bye.